welcome back to the farm. If you're new here, I'm Nina. I'm a homeschooling, homesteading mom of four ages, eight down to four, and I am married to Daniel. And here on my channel, we talk all about homeschooling, homesteading, and homemaking. Today's video, I'm finally bringing a homesteading video to you guys. If you watched our March uh, life update, you know that we are moving, and so we are building fence on our rental property. Um, to prepare to move our animals over here. So this is gonna be a vlog of us building a fence and we are not professionals. So to start off with, Daniel's just going around the perimeter where we're gonna put the fence and just mowing a good clean line so that we can, um, won't have to fight the grass as we get ready to put the fence up. We've already purchased all the fencing material. We got it at Tractor Supply. Um, I think this will be our third fence to put up. So Daddy has asked the kids to get out the loppers. Don't cut the string, okay? To get out the loppers and cut these trees off the fence line. So you see the string here. We've run it from corner to corner just so we make sure we set our post straight. All the way down. Like I said, he's still continuing to cut the line up there. And they're going to cut these limbs back. Can you get it? What you got, buddy? Knife. Your knife? Well, don't pull all of them out. Remember what we said? We only pull one out at a time. Can you get it, Jameson, or you need help? I have to do that so I can get my knife out. What's Daddy doing? Uh, I think Daddy's moving a post that got stuck in his way. So phone ran out of battery um, that day that I was filming just a second ago. Um, with this is another day we are driving the fence post, the T post, um, up the left side of the field. Um, so we're just working our way back up to the corner and driving them in with a fence post driver and making sure they're sitting on the string like they're supposed to, not pushing against it, but just right touching it to make sure that the fence is nice and straight. We're on to, I think this is day three or four of building a fence. We're working on setting the gate posts um, and the braces for the gate. Whenever you put in a gate, you have to put a brace with a cross member um, on either side of the gate. So that's what we're working with now. We're digging the four holes for that gate. And uh, you know, this is the, well, if we're looking at it, this would be the right side of the gate that we're working on. And so when Daniel and I are doing any kind of project, we tag team swap back and forth, let each other have a break, and just try to work as um, together as best as we can. Some days that goes really well, some days it doesn't. Um, I don't think every married couple is that way, but um, we try to help each other out with projects, and we always say we we do better when we actually work together and we get more done when we are together versus when we are trying to do something separately. We say that we need buddies in order to get projects done. So we are each other's buddy. So we're just going to continue to dig this hole. This These holes for these uh, posts need to be 42 inches deep um, just so that you have your um, post stable. Um, once you start packing in the dirt, you could do concrete. Usually we do concrete on gate posts, but we didn't have any. So we're just hoping that the dirt will hold it. Um, and this isn't a very big gate. I think we only have like a 10 foot gate going on here. We, in our, um, property that was next door that we sold a couple of years ago, we had a 16 foot gate. So we did put concrete in those posts on the, that held the gate up. So, so far, we haven't had any problems out of it, and we've been using that gate for several weeks now. But anyway, so uh, we're just going to continue to work on this and move down the line. And you're not going to see us stretch any fence on the vlog because Daniel did that on a day when I was not there. Um, 
I was hoping that it was going to get filmed for you guys, but it did not. Uh, so we are just doing the best we can in this move and filming what we have time for. So now we're moving on to the building the corner brace. So we've got the post we're already in because originally when we own the pro own this property and the property next door, the fence for the back pasture came all the way to this corner. So those posts and holes were already there. Um, so we didn't have to re dig holes or anything like that. We just set the post in and they went in. So we're putting in the cross brace, um, just making sure that it's nice and level and using five inch barn nails from tractor supply to secure them to the post. And then you'll see us, uh, start wrapping some wire. This is just high tensile wire that we had left over from a, a tip fencing project previously that we saved we just tried to use as many things that was as we already had on hand so that we did not have to go and buy and purchase more material um, but anyway so you're going to see us wrap the wire around the post just to kind of squeeze those posts together and make them more stable and more sturdy for uh, the pin for the fence when it's like pulling against it and pushing against it so anyway that's what we're fixing to do in just a minute. Normally we would use uh, wood to kind of tighten the wire that we're going to run, but we didn't have any wood strips. So we just used some high tensile ratchets that we already had on hand. And you see one in Daniel's hand now and um, just kind of tighten them against one another. Um, to make that work and we're stripping the wire from where it had been used previously in another project um, I think all this stuff was secondhand from my mom or something she owned horses for a while and so I think that's what we were doing there <laughs> just pulling out wire that was already stuck in those but we're just see we're just wrapping it around uh, I think we went twice and then we use these little bracket things. I don't know the technical terms for it. Like I said, we are not professionals. We're just um, doing what we've seen on YouTube videos and what we've researched. But we use these little bracket things to kind of squeeze and clamp um, the wire together so that it's held tight. Um, and then we put the ratchets on there and then just tighten it down to kind of pull the post together and make it sturdy. Hi guys, um, so a lot of time has lapsed since I you last saw us building the fence on this vlog. Um, I think that was about a week and a half ago. We've been really busy since then. Um, but as you can see behind me, we are finished and and we have hogs here. So this is Xerxes, this is our breeding boar. We brought them over um, about a week ago, uh, set up their pen here with the premier one ho uh, quick hog fence so um but i'll when i walk back up towards the front i'll show you kind of what we did and finished uh the actual day that daniel finished the fence i was working so i didn't get to vlog it but anyway um let me yank this water hose out and i'll show you the rest of the fence here's our feeder pen where the girls are in right now this is esther she's our breeding sow um, and then this is the rest of the feeders. These guys will be going to the processor um, probably in a couple of months. But when we brought them over here, they were in this paddock. They were here for about four or five days. They've been here for about four or five days. It rained um, over the weekend. So they've done a number on this grass. Hey, girls. Guy. That's a guy. Um, squapping over I just fed them so they're fighting over feed they're like kids they fight over their food um, but anyway we're probably gonna move them this afternoon we've been really busy this weekend or we would have moved in before now so that they didn't get down to dirt but we're gonna take 
these houses and put one here and one in that back paddock right there. Um, Xerxes is in the very back. He will stay there. We got him a pretty good big area. He will stay there. But the idea is for them to be able to kind of rotate through the paddocks and hoping that the front ones bounce back before we move them back up here. Um, and then we have enough fence of this poly fence from Premier One that it that we can stretch across here to make a couple more paddocks to move them back up. Our pigs are, are not pigs, our chickens will also be running along here as well in a chicken tractor that we've got to build. Um, when I left you guys from vlogging the fence, uh, Daniel was kind of, we were putting in the braces over there. And so since then we stretched the fence you guys didn't get to see that because he did it on a day when I wasn't around. I was working. Um, and then we stretched the fence here, clipped everything on nice and tight. And then we ran a bottom hot wire about six inches off the ground. It is hooked around the post and it is running. That alligator clip is clipped to it. Um, so it's keeping the pigs off of the field fence. And then we're also clipping to it to run our um, quick fence for the pigs so that it can be movable. So they cannot get out of this field fence that we have going on here. We have different latches that we're going to put on the gate that'll kind of open and close and you can push the gate through so that way you don't have to latch it back every time. So right now we're just using the cord on this, but we hung the gate. This is a 10 foot gate. We left room to where the trailer could get in there. The truck on the trailer could get in there and move around. Um, and then I'll show you guys our, we've had this charger. Hold on. If I can get it off. It might be a wasp under there. We've had this charger for a while. But it came from Premier One as well as the Speedrite. If you're going to use electricity on a fence for pigs, get a hot one. You need, need, need a hot fence. They're going to get out if you do not have your fence hot enough. So, temporary. It's just hanging there on a nail with a drop cord. Uh, we might eventually hook it up to a battery and solar. But for now, in the time of trying to get everything moved, it's sitting up there and we got a bucket over it so that it doesn't get too damaged so that's just another look at the fence it goes it's about an acre that we fenced in here um the next project outside is we're gonna fence in the backyard area all the way up you can't see that well you can see the edge of the house there come across in front of my car the neighbors are right over there and back and down and this is probably about a half acre that we're gonna fence the backyard in um for the kids just so that they can have a place to play which they can play back here anyway but then i don't have to worry about them because we are closer to the road here than we were at our other house um so we just want them to have a secure place to be able to play and also for our golden doodle noah so that i don't have to walk him every time he needs to go pee but anyway that's going to do it for today's vlog guys thank you so much for tuning in in our kind of first vlog style of homestead of building our fence um, we hope to have other projects to be able to show you uh, next up i think is gonna be a kind of a house tour of the new house that we're moving into and uh, me painting and doing some projects. So stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Give this video a like if you haven't done so and you like this content. And I'll catch you in another video very soon. Bye guys.